for the week ahead and there are some changes on the way. Many of us, I'm sure, are quite pleased to have seen a fine bank holiday weekend so far, but we've seen virtually no measurable rain across most parts of England and Wales through the whole of the month so far. Add in that uh, extreme heat, of course, and you end up with some very strong drying conditions as the vegetation is beginning to testify. But there is a change on the way. Middle of the week onwards, we're expecting rain to begin moving in from the southwest. And because of the direction it's coming from, it looks like it'll be South Wales and Southwest England at the moment that look likely to get the most useful amounts of rain. Now, it's high pressure that's been keeping things uh, settled. Watch that shrink away, though, as we run through the sequence. Then watch out into the Atlantic, because that's where we're going to get an area of low pressure developing. We're really getting quite wound up as it moves close to our shores, but it's a bit reluctant to move in, drifting down towards the south of the UK, which is why these weather fronts only really make it in across England and Wales. But as that shrinks away again, it's going to open the doors to a pretty chilly northerly flow to come in. So feeling quite cool, I think, especially across northern areas, with those winds coming all the way down from the Arctic regions. But it's pleasant enough out there this afternoon. Varying fortunes as far as sunshine's concerned. We've even had a few showers around across the West Country. They might pop up across South Wales for a time as well. Still the odd one moving across that northwest England, the Fard region particularly. Best of the sunshine likely to continue across the Scottish Highlands, down through the northeast coast of England. But also Southern Corn will hang on to some sunshine, I think, through to the end of the day. So where you've got some sunshine, feeling quite pleasant. We might see a 25 somewhere perhaps through the uh, Midlands, mostly into the low 20s though. And a fresher feel to things certainly along that east coast because the wind's beginning to pick up now off the North Sea. And that's certainly going to be a feature of the weather through tonight into tomorrow as well, with those winds becoming quite brisk also along those English Channel coasts through the next 24 hours or so. Now those winds off the North Sea are going to start feeding in quite a bit of cloud as the night goes on. So it looks like a rather grey start to the day for many of us, perhaps even thick enough that cloud to give some patchy drizzle near some uh, eastern coast, but that should tend to thin out, some brightness coming through as the day goes on. Best the sunshine tomorrow though, it's likely to be across western parts of Scotland, perhaps the northwest of England and the western side of Wales. Temperatures generally a little bit lower than we've seen today and a fairly fresh feel to things, again particularly down those North Sea coasts with that wind coming in off the sea. Tuesday, a fine day again for most of us, a little bit of cloud across northernmost parts of Scotland, maybe the odd shower just drifting into the southwest of England. Now remember by the middle of the week, that's when we start to see that low pressure system knocking on the door. The first attempt at producing rain, probably not coming to much, just uh, throwing a few showers up into the far southwest. Elsewhere still dry, still quite warm as well with temperatures getting into the low 20s. It's during Thursday though that we really start to see that rain pushing in, becoming fairly widespread for a time across southern parts, but all pulling away again. So we're going to Friday and that's when we start to see those chilly winds beginning to come in from the north.